Thinner than a dime, HP's Elite Book Folio 1040 G1 is the company's latest answer to business professionals seeking a lightweight and secure laptop. This laptop has a lot of great hidden features that we're actually going to talk about on this week in the Geek Smack Review. Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here. Welcome to the Geek Smack Review, where I take a look at products and interview those in technology. You can find me over at geekazine.com. Think Magazine, put in a geek, that's me. Now, this is actually a two-part series because we've got two products that I'm reviewing from HP. The first one is this Elite Book 1040 G1, and the second one is this RDX removable disk backup system, which we will be talking about in on the next episode here. The two-part series can be found over on geekazine.com or youtube.com forward slash geekazine. Now, I'm no stranger to HP laptops, so I've had a few in my lifetime, including this G60 that now sits as my secondary machine. Of course, that was the day of laptops. Today, we live in a world of ultrabooks, machines smaller than and more powerful than ever before. That includes this beauty right here. It's the HP FolioBook 1040 G1 Ultrabook. It's a lightweight, thin, and most important, powerful, option in your computing needs. Measuring at a maximum 1.59 centimeters at its widest, the G1 truly is thinner vertically than the diameter of a US dime. The scarcity of its profile is com complemented by the laptop's weight, clocking in at a mere 3.3 pounds, yet the machine's size doesn't follow the trend as the product still manages to boast a 14-inch LED backlit display with full 1080p resolution. It's perfect for some of that late-night movie viewing. In the speed department, the G1 has a fairly hefty spec for laptop of its size. This one only boasts 4 gigabytes of DDR3 SD RAM, 256 gigabyte solid state drive, and an Intel Core i5 processor. Now, it doesn't mean you cannot get a beefier model if you need it. The HP also has a Core i7 with Intel Graphics 5000 running at 1.7 gigahertz. Now, the first week that I got this machine, I had to actually go to New York. After a quick test, I realized that even this machine can create the videos that I needed to make out there. A five minute interview that I created took about 15 to 20 minutes to process on this Core i5. And you could see those videos over at youtube.com forward slash geekazine. Now the G1 takes the clutter away with a decreasing number of peripheral ports located at the base machine. The device comes with only two USB 3.0 SS ports, one including sleep and charge functionality. Besides that, the machine comes with a micro SD card slot instead of a standard SD card slot for the kinds of cards used in most digital cameras, but perfect for those that have Android devices with micro SD cards. The G1 also comes with a display port adapter, an AC power port, and a combined headphone microphone port so you can use a smartphone headset for those Skype calls. Finally, the machine is equipped with a smart card reader right here, NFC, and a fingerprint reader used for security purposes in any enterprise setting. Now, the slim selection of options might suggest more USB ports could have been added. However, it's all about the organization of what's inside the machine to make it as small as it is. Additionally, it's meant for an enterprise user trying to log into their virtual private network without having to remember a hundred different passwords to get in. Now, HP does offer a few docking options if you use this more in a desktop setting. The only part is that I was dispirited with was the additional adapter uh, that came with Ethernet and VGA, this one right here. After all, both of these options could be basically USB adapters and not a proprietary cable that could get lost. By the way, for an additional $19, $19 you can get the display port to HDMI adapter so you can plug into those HD TVs for those presentations. Now the G1 carries an excellent six cell polymer long life battery which will last up to 12 hours on a single charge. It also comes with a standard wireless feature such as 802.11 ABGN Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 4.0. 
Now, in response to a possibly unfair bias that Windows 8 is less suitable in a business environment than Windows 7, the G1 does ship with 64-bit Windows 7 installed on the machine, making it one of the few Ultrabooks on the market still offered with this as the primary operating system. At the same time, the products come with an OEM license to install Windows 8 Pro. The only problem is they come in DVD format, and of course there's no DVD player on this machine, so you're going to have to find other ways. What I did, because I loaded Windows 8.1, is I copied everything off the disk onto a USB drive, and then I plugged it into the system and used it that way. And I did load everything up without a problem. Now, as it is marketed to business professionals, the G1 does very well in the areas of specialty, which include the lightness, the durability, the security, and the no novel computer features. For example, in place of a regular spring-based mouse pad, the G1 comes with a pressure-sensitive touchpad, which responds to touch without tactile response. Along with the multi-touch features in here, you can move around this elite book like you would a tablet or a smartphone. The G1 comes with a host of security features such as biometric authentication device, the fingerprint reader, and TPM 1.2 embedded security chip, which works alongside HP's rewritten BIOS software. The Elite Book has HP encryption software to make sure nobody can read data even if the SSD was removed from the chassis. In fact, you could set this up so if somebody connects a USB drive, they need to either verify with the smart card, NFC, or fingerprint, or even a PIN number so they can access the drive to pull information back and forth. Add the absolute software package that comes inside the machine with the subscription so if you lose the Elite Book, You'll, you'll be able to get it tracked, you'll be able to lock the data, or erase the machine remotely from a company that has forensic specialists that even have brought back devices that have been shipped overseas after they've been stolen. Now with all that, let's talk about durability. This machine was tested and proven to withstand extreme conditions such as high and low temperatures, dust, humidity, and shock from being dropped. Imagine doing this, you come into the office, you gotta go to that meeting, let's just set it right down. I can still turn this thing on and go from there. Now you could be in the desert, you could be down in the freezer, in a manufacturing warehouse, or where, com where basically computers become dust magnets, or just accidentally drop this machine while you're running from emergency to emergency and still have it functional. The spill-proof keyboard feature also helps if that morning cup of coffee accidentally gets dropped right onto the machine. Now this is a great secure ultrabook for the IT professional or someone that works in a high security environment. The machine can be set up to lock everything down if stolen and keep you working in some really tough environments. And one more thing I wanna show off and that's the speed of the reboot. Now I have it logged in here. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put in my pin and I am going to do a standard reboot. So I'm going to hit uh, control out delete I'm going to go down to the power, and I'm going to show you right here. I'm going to hit the restart button. I'll let you see it right there. Hit the restart button, and it is going to reboot the machine. There, it powered down. It's powering back up. It's loading up Windows. and I'm back in. This is an amazing machine that has a starting price tag of $1,299 for the Core i5. Like I said, I wish there were a few different options in the SD card, the attachment dongle, and the HDMI port, but the power outweighs all of those issues. Now to find out more of this, we've got the link in the show notes so you can go down there and check out this Note the Ultrabook for your next device. All right, well, that's it for this, but we're not done with HP yet because we have the RDX disk backup unit, which I'm going to be showing how you can back up using these removable uh, cartridges, and we're going to do that in the next episode of the Geek Smack Review. If you do have a product that you would like to have reviewed, all you have to do is let me know. Twitter me over at Geekazine or geekazine at gmail.com, and I'll take a look at it and, uh, and 
uh, put it on the next uh, review. Also watch this channel for interviews and other cool stuff in technology uh, as the Geek Smack review really starts to grow into its place. My name is Jeffrey Powers. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Uh, we've got more. You can follow me over at geekazine.com. You can go over to youtube.com forward slash geekazine uh, to follow me and subscribe over at YouTube. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys geek out, and we'll see you next time. Take care.